In this video, we're going to tell you seven golden retriever puppy training tips. Golden retrievers are a classic dog and one you can't go wrong with. They're great for your family. They're great if it's just you. Golden retriever will be great for a long time to come, but they still need training. They still need guidance. And in this video, we're going to tell you how to train your puppy right, right when you get them. So these are seven tips, seven best practices to help you and your golden retriever live a long, happy, healthy life. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We make dog videos that are educational and and entertaining. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly what to do with your golden retriever puppy so that you two can live a long, happy, healthy life together. The first tip is exercise. Exercise is so important for any dog, but especially a golden retriever. They want to be outside running, playing, and they want to be with you. So it won't be enough just to let your golden retriever out in the backyard, but instead you'll want to play fetch with them, take them for walks, and get them out and about. Because if you can do this, you'll burn up a lot of that pent up energy that they have as puppies, and they'll be able to listen to you and train them even better. It's hard for an active, out of control mind to listen to you and to take any sort of training. So if you can get your dog outside and be with them, they'll absolutely love it and they'll love building that bond with you as well. So getting your dog outside and the exercise they need will go a long way in training your dog. The number two tip is to remember to be calm assertive. Any dog will be going off of your energy, but a golden retriever especially. They look to their owner and they want to do exactly what you are doing. And so your energy is so important, especially in the puppy years. So as you look to raise a strong, beautiful golden retriever, you want to establish calm, assertive energy, energy that they can follow, that they know is right and energy that they can look to for a strong leader. So when your dog makes a mistake and goes potty inside the house or nips you or does something that you don't like, it's important to stay calm, assertive, and confident. This will go a long way in training your dog with future things that they're gonna need to know. The number three tip is to get your golden retriever socialized. If you get a golden retriever socialized early and often, you are gonna have one of the best dogs you can imagine and you will never have to worry about this dog around other dogs or other humans. So take them to dog parks, have other people hold them, get them around other dogs, take them to the vet, get them in the car, get them out of their natural habitat and comfortable with doing different things. If you can have other people hold them, pet them, and just get them comfortable being around other people, other dogs, other animals and pets, you will have a dog that you'll never have to worry about and you'll know that they'll be super confident, fun loving, and happy to be around other people. The number four tip is positive reinforcement. It's important that you don't get mad, angry at your dog, but instead reward them when they do something well. Especially a docile dog like the Golden Retriever. They don't need to be yelled at or berated. Instead, they need to be applauded and happy for what they've accomplished. So when you train your dog, give them a treat or affection when they do something right and be sure to not give them a treat and don't show affection when they're doing a behavior that you don't like. Remember, you're always nurturing something. Make sure that you're nurturing the right behavior and positive reinforcement with a golden retriever is the best way to go. The number five tip is to remember that your dog needs rules, limitations, and boundaries. Caesar Milan talks a lot about this, that if you don't give your dogs rules, limitations, and boundaries, then they'll take advantage of just about anything. If you don't stop them from getting up on the couch, they'll get on the couch, they'll jump all over, they'll do whatever it is that they want to do. They will only stop this when you stop them, and the best time to do that is when they are puppies. So that positive reinforcement, calm assertive attitude will help as you correct them, get them down on the floor, give them a treat, take them down from jumping, give them a treat. Everything you do now as a puppy will really impact as they get older. So just remember, there's rules, limitations, and boundaries that every dog needs, and they crave this to make sure that they're doing things right and making sure that they're doing what you want. The number six tip is to remember to give your puppy affection at the right time. The best way to think of this is to think of your dog not as a puppy, but as a grown dog. Would you let your grown dog jump up on top of you? Well, maybe you would, but just remember, whatever affection you're giving to your little puppy, you're really impressing upon them and they will continue to do that as they get older. So it's important that you show affection at the right time. 
if you don't want them on the couch, if you don't want them on you or another human in your home, make sure you're not petting them. A lot of times we make mistakes of petting them even though they're doing behavior that we don't want. So just keep this in mind so that your golden retriever grows up to do the things you want instead of the things you don't want. And the final tip, number seven, is to ask for help. It's okay and puppies can be challenging. So it's okay to ask for help and to ask for any tips that might be helpful. So if you're watching this video, that means you're just wanting to be prepared and give your dog the best possible life that you can. So it's okay to ask others, how did they do things? And what are some best practices to make sure that you are giving your dog the best chance to thrive inside your home? We hope you've enjoyed this video and we love golden retrievers and we'll see you on the next one.